if we go to the bot, you can see that there is a new button which appeared and there are exactly these three comments. In this video, I'll show you how to add comments to a Telegram bot. So we have created in the previous video uh, another uh, Telegram bot, which is called uh, Unreasonable AI Workflow Master A. We have added the picture and descriptive fields. So we can go to the, uh, to the bot itself. And as you can see, uh, we do not have here uh, the type of the menu button as we had in the bot father, but we will have it soon. In the bot father, uh, we should uh, type uh, slash my bots. So first we should identify the bot and this is uh, the bot which we have, Workflow Master A bot. We go here and we press edit bot. After we press edit bot, you can see that we already added some kind of descriptive fields to the bot, but the comments field, uh, it's written here that there is no comments yet. We need to press edit comments. Telegram is saying that you should provide uh, the comments in the following format, and this should be done in the format like this. If you want to clean uh, the comments which you already set, you should just type slash empty. We'll use the following comments which I already prepared. I would like to have a comment number one, start morning routine. With this comment, uh, I will be starting an attend workflow morning routine, which I will define later, not in this video, in the longer video. Uh, get today tasks, uh, workflow for getting the tasks of today, and then the workflow run email analyzer. With this comment, I will be starting a workflow in Anytan, which will go to my Gmail, analyze the emails, and send me some summaries. So basically, these are three comments I would like to add, and I did them. Uh, I did it in the in the format which Telegram asked me. I send it. Now we can go back to our bot. If we go to the bot, you can see that there is a new button which appeared and there are exactly these three buttons. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. In the next one, I will prepare a longer video where I will show you how to utilize this command to actually run separate workflows in Anita.